Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So previously, I showed you how to create a scheduled task that runs the system state backup so that you can backup Active Directory on your domain controllers. There's that scheduled task. Here's the resulting files. And now, we're going to use Windows Backup to restore the NTDS DIT file. And we're actually going to be able to mount that NTDS DIT file in Active Directory users and computers using the DSA main tool featured in this article. Look for the link in the description down below. So let's get started. So like I say, we're going to use Windows Server Backup here to recover from backup stored in another location. Even though this is on this server, we want to be able to specify the source and the target so that we don't restore over the active directory that's in production. So there's the backup location. Select that server. Select the available date. The recovery type, we want to choose the files and folders that we want to recover. And it'll take a moment to enumerate those. We want to restore the NTDS folder and we want to place it in a different location. I'm going to put it on D restore. Okay. And we can watch the progress of this file restoration here. So while we're waiting for that, let's look at this article really quick. He's laid out his scenario, and then he does something bad. And then he says, I just restored system state backup from an alternate location to a different folder. And then he runs the DSA main exe file, and he lists this command here in a picture. Well, I'm going to give you the command down below in the description of this video. And you can copy it and paste it. It'd be a lot easier than looking at a picture. And then you mount it up in Active Directory users and computers by specifying this custom port that you used in the DSA main command. Let's see how our restore is going now. Okay, our files have been restored. Let's just go confirm that right now. In the D restore folder, there's my NTDS dit file. Let's make sure our DSA main is pointing to restore NTDS dit. So we're going to run DSA main database path D restore NTDS dit and specify the custom LDAP port of 5000. Here we go. Okay. Now you have to keep this command open in order to do this. If you close that command prompt, then it'll stop working. So now we're going to change domain controller and we're going to manually type the server name and the port. Click OK. Alright, so there I've actually mounted Active Directory from that backup, not affecting the current production Active Directory. And I can go see if this particular backup has the item that got deleted or if I need to check the previous backup and so on. So this DSA main mounting NTDS DIT files from system state backups allows you to kind of sift through and see if that backup contains the items that you actually want to restore if you needed to restore something. So, so we can see what the members of the built-in administrators group was yesterday. Very handy tool. Okay, so look for the code in the description down below. Give this video a like. Click over there to subscribe and click up here to check out my Active Directory playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.